Pins refer to physics-informed neural networks. It's a topic that is gaining a lot of attention, not just by academia, but also by companies and uh, big companies like NVIDIA. So NVIDIA released new library called NVIDIA Modulus. This library will help us solve Pins problems. In this course, we are going to learn how to use NVIDIA models to, sell, to solve PINs problems. In order to learn NVIDIA models, we will have to start learning the basics of PINs and how the computational flows inside a PINs code. The best way to write our own PINs code and understand every little information or every little computational uh, process, we have to write our own code using PyTorch. After being familiar of using PyTorch and uh, solving simple equations, like for example, what we will do is solve the 1D Berger's equation, we will be comfortable to go to NVIDIA models and start solving a PINS problem for a simple 1D wave equation problem. We will define this equation using NVIDIA models and we will learn how to define basically any equation we want using NVIDIA models. After that, we will take advantage of the methods exist or coded uh, already exist in the NVIDIA models and we will use the Navier-Stokes equations with a zero turbulence model to solve the cavity problem. Once we get familiar with the cavity problem, and once we code our uh, well, the, write the code using NVIDIA models, we go to a bit more complex problem, which is a 2D flow that has a heat sink in the uh, in the channel of it. This way, we will learn, uh, or we will calculate the flow in that interacts with this uh, heat sink, and we will calculate the temperature gradients as the flow passes through this heatsink. In this course, we will solve our problems using Google Colab as well as our own devices, that is, uh, using uh, NVIDIA models on our actual uh, GPU that we have in our computer. This course will consider giving a step-by-step -step manner, we will write our own code every one line at a time. We try to explain every line and we will uh, even set up the environment together and uh, create the files needed to actually run and analyze the results of uh, or using NVIDIA models. Let's work together to learn NVIDIA models and hopefully this course will be your first step to get and apply more complex problems rather than pins, for example, an inverse pins or deep neural operator and other applications of AI um, for computational engineering using NVIDIA models.